This morning on today's Holiday Kitchen, dreamy desserts. Do you have visions of sugar plums dancing in your head? Well, dream no more because we have some scrumptious ideas for holiday treats. Nigella Lawson, cookbook author of Feast, is here to get us cooking. Nigella, good morning. Good morning to you. Did you know that you're an icon? You're an icon. In fact, quoted, quoting Gourmet Magazine, a smart, sexy woman who promulgates the idea that it might be fun or even relaxing to make time to cook again, which is well, great is, to hear. It can be fun and relaxing if you can sort out your schedule you know, to suit. It can be. Especially during the holidays. I think that's so nice. You know, you've got people coming over and you want to cook. I try and do things I can do maybe in stages so that I'm really relaxed on the day. You know, mm -hmm. like you know, I'm doing a, a chocolate cherry trifle, and this is kind of pretty easy because you buy chocolate cake. You don't have to make it because you're just gonna. Do you want to make a sandwich? I've yeah, made. Let's do it. So what I've done here so is I'll slice the cake. Slice it, cherry jam. Mm -hmm. So you just make it like a sandwich. Just like a sandwich, and I just kind of wadge it into a glass dish. I like to use glass because you can see. Right. Then. And then so you just basically yeah, make I'll the sandwich it. and then slice it. Slice it any way you want. You and then load it. The bottom. You know, trifle though, Nigella, it's not something that has a great reputation because a lot of people in the past or ha may have just kind of thrown all yes, the kinds of things Yes, like, you do have to we're make... We're talking about a good you do, trifle. You do. And this is, for me, it's very good. A bit of cherry brandy. Mm. Chocolate and cherry goes so well together. And I love... I know it's childish, but I like anything red during the holidays. <laughs> No, and I think that's a great idea. Now you also have some cherries are, here. And they're canned, slight, they, or yes, canned or bottled, slightly sour because you don't want everything to be cloying. Mm. And then we make a chocolate custard. That you do have to do ahead, which is fine. So I've got milk and cream. Here I just add some cocoa. You had some eggs in there. Egg oh, yolks. Just the, just the yolks. Cocoa and sugar. Sugar. And now just some... That's melted chocolate if you want that chocolate. in. Okay. And I'm not going to make the whole of it now, so really it's a question of cooking that together with the eggs and cream. So Pour that on, oh. you beat that into here, and then you put it back and you slowly stir. Okay, My be careful tip, not to burn. Not to burn. My tip would be keep your kitchen sink absolutely full of cold water. So if you think it's going to burn, you put the plunge the pan into the cold water and it'll stop it. Oh, that's a good tip. That's yeah, great. and also it stops you worrying. Now, you don't want to put all of this in at once, or do you? I yes, do. just do. do not. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. It's the holiday season. I wouldn't hold back. Yeah, that's the thing, though. You know, a lot of us um, feel a, a lot of stress to not eat so much, and this looks so Well, you don't have to have a big... You know, I find that when you have a lot of people, you eat less. Uh -huh. You know, you just have like a small bowl full. We oh. also say just kind of relax during the holidays. It's a kind of feast. I, a feast is about celebrating plenty. Mm -hmm. So you have to, just a little bit of cream. Mm -hmm. So you've got to stop worrying now, Anne. Mm -hmm. Okay, just and plop that on and the And can you see it's not really whipped that stiff because otherwise it loses all its edge. Would you like to grate a little chocolate? Sure. Because I oh, only yeah. have a small amount. Okay, like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like this. Exactly. All right. And then... That's your trifle. That, and and that, that's pretty simple. That Especially is pretty if you're simple. serving a large group the of people. The only thing that takes time is a custard you can do in advance. And you just put some cling on the top to stop it getting a skin. Some cling? Some cling. saran wrap? Some, yeah. Some, yeah. Okay, yeah. cling. You put it right, right on the top of it and you won't get a skin. Uh-huh. When do I stop? Whenever you want okay, to. Okay, done. You see, you're getting into a of things. Okay, good. That's beautiful. <laughs> now, you have some other pumpkin examples. Pumpkin cheesecake. Again, for holidays. you make it ahead. It's very easy. Now, do you use canned pumpkin? Yeah, I do for that, yes. You do. Okay, okay. without that's much easier. Without apologizing, because it's easier and it, it, it has less liquid, so it keeps its shape better. Okay, we also have a gingerbread. Yes, with chocolate chips. That's and, so uh, beautiful. And that's a very easy trifle and lighter for those who want it, which is, that is, you make, you put yogurt on the top, it's poached peaches, uh, apricots, peaches. There, peaches look say. like, yeah, that's yeah, right. little dried apricots I soak and then cook. Uh -huh. and then do you soak them in water or do you soak, soak them in a little bit of, you know, no, alcohol? No, 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 the, no that, this is a very, this is a light one, okay. no alcohol. All right. And you can add, you can add apricot brand if you want. And that's that Italian holiday bread, the um, Pandora that you buy. Oh, yes. So this is really a quick assembly, easy job and this I, I I love this which is a, a fruit cake which is very easy you make it all on a saucepan on the stove and then you melt everything together you stick it in the oven and bake it and you bake it with a brown paper and then it makes a perfect gift you frost it with the fruit and take it to someone's house for the holidays you know what I think gourmet magazine <laughs> has it right about you you do make us want to Aww. get in the kitchen and enjoy thank the you. process thank you Nigella thank Lawson you. and happy holidays happy to you holidays. And you can check out these recipes by logging on to our website at today.msnbc.com.